Hi, it's Melissa with Melissa's Creations. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to get this fun embossed, half embossed sentiment here. I've used the Oh Happy Day stamp from the Scenic Sings stamp set and some gold embossing powder. And I'm also going to show you how to get this gold embossed. It kind of has a little bit of texture to it. It's not gold foil. We're going to go ahead and make this card today. So let's get started. The supplies for this card, I have a piece of the Flirty Flamingo cardstock. That's from the 2016-2018 in colors. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored in the middle at five and a half. So that is our card base. This piece of Whisper White measures three and three quarters by five. And I have a scrap piece of Very Vanilla. This piece measures four by five and a quarter, and we're not actually gonna use the vanilla. You could use any lighter colored cardstock you'd like because we're going to do the gold textured edge around our card. So I chose to use Very Vanilla because I already had this piece already cut and ready to go. One thing that I like to do when I'm working with mats, this piece is going to be on top of our mat like this. So you're not gonna see any of the middle of this piece of cardstock. So to save a little bit of space and get the most use out of our materials, I'm taking our two inch circle punch and I'm just gonna punch two circles out of the middle of this cardstock so that I can use those on another project. Now when you do this, you wanna make sure you still leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around around so that when you layer your other piece on top you still see the entire border but you're not wasting the middle of that card. So we're going to start with our sentiment to get that awesome embossed, half embossed part of our little oh happy day sentiment. I just think this is so gorgeous. I saw this technique done during the on stage I rewatched the replays on the internet, and if you're a demonstrator, you are able to see some really, really fun sneak peeks at some new products coming up, and this is one of the techniques that I saw them demonstrate. So to do that, I've already mounted my sentiment on my D-size acrylic block, and I'm going to use my Flirty Flamingo ink, and we're also going to need our Versamark and a few other supplies. So I have my Versamark pad and I have the reinker here. I have a sponge dauber and I have my gold embossing powder. So what we're going to do is ink up our sentiment. And now I'm going to take my Versamark and I'm actually gonna use the lid and I already have a little squirt of Versamark in there. You can see that. I'm going to take my sponge dauber and I'm going to pick up that Versamark and I'm just going to lightly dab the bottom of my words. Just like that. And now I'm going to take that gold embossing powder and this is an old style tray. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore. It was an older product but you could use really um, just a piece of paper folded in half would work just fine. So now I'm gonna stamp onto my card right up on the top here. And while that ink is still damp, I'm going to take my gold embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle that over. And you can see that that gold embossing powder stuck at the bottom where I put the Versamark. So now we're going to use our heat tool and we're going to set that. So you can see how gorgeous that comes out. Now this is a lot softer than the original and that just depends on how much of that Versamark you load up onto your stamp and whether or not you reload your dauber with more Versamark. So I went pretty heavy handed up on this part and you can see how gorgeous that looks. But also this subtle look is um, very nice also. And I can't decide which one I like better now. Which one do you like better? Leave me a little message in the comments. Tell me whether you like the subtle or the bold. 
let's go on to the next portion which is to do our gold mat that is underneath our sentiment here we're going to do some embossing to get this gold border so i have my piece of very vanilla and i already cut my circles out because you're not going to see it when it's on the card so why waste paper when you can use more space so i'm going to do uh pretty much the same thing except i'm going to take my versamark pad and use it directly on this piece of very vanilla so what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna work in sections and I'm just going to do the top and the side first and then I'll do the other ones. Now I'm just patting this into my Versamark pad so that I can get the side well coated and then we will throw on some of our gold embossing powder just to coat that. All right, so there's the first two sides done. And now I'm going to put this back on while I use my heat tool. This is a really good technique to use if you don't have any gold foil or if you really like the way that it gives you that texture. The gold foil is gorgeous, but it is also very flat. So if you wanted that bubbly texture like I have here, this is a good way to achieve that. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other two sides and get my Versamark well coated on the edge. And now I can scoop the rest of that in my tray. And if you're not working with the tray, just put it right back into your tub and then you can pour it on again. Just give it a gentle flick. All right, so now let's put our sentiment back on and see if we have what we want on the edges. And that looks really, really good. I don't see any bald spots, so we should be okay there. So now I'm gonna take some Fast Fuse and I'm going to put that all around the outside of my sentiment piece. And your paper will kind of warp and bend a little bit, but it's okay. It will lay flat when you get your adhesive on there and put it onto your card front. Okay, I have about six inches of the beautiful ruched ribbon in Flirty Flamingo. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down here at the bottom to hold that in place. And you can wrap that right around the bottom of that card front. A little bit of scotch tape to hold that down and some more fast fuse on the back okay now we can put that right onto our card front i'm going to use a mini glue dot to stick my ribbon down in the middle I have some more ribbon here. Now I showed this in one of my previous videos, so I'll show you again how I tie my bows. And I just do two loops and then I just tie that just like I'm tying a knot or anything else. So pull that through and then your ribbon will kind of flip around to the front. Then you can kind of fuss with it and you have a very pretty bow. Now we'll just trim that off and we can adhere that with a glue dot as well. And we'll put that right in the middle. And the final touch, I have some flirty flamingo accents. I'm gonna use the hearts this time and I'm just gonna scatter those around my sentiment. And there you go, an easy way to get a gold mat around a card when you don't have any gold foil. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to be notified when I upload new videos. Mondays I have creative quickies. Wednesdays I have Melissa's Creations Live, and Fridays I have my tutorials. This week I am in the process of moving, so this is going to take the place of my Wednesday live session. So I will not be going live, but I brought this beautiful project to you in hopes that this will be okay in my absence. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.